Now I'm going to take a look at their washing machine. I'm going to turn these lights off for now. Sure, go ahead. But um, you guys just let me know if you have the flickering problem in the future. Okay. We'll see if we fixed it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, let's see what... Let's test it. Where's the switch? Down there. I don't think the switch is in there. Okay, let's go to a uh, small load. There. Don't need an extra wrench. Don't need that. Uh, let's see, let's go to uh, regular. Let's go to regular light. Got water. Filling. what it's supposed to be doing. See how it's turning all the way around? I don't think it's supposed to be doing that. I think it's supposed to be doing this. It's loose. It's not supposed to be loose like that. Okay, you see that screw in there? I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a screw in there. It was loose. So that's why this whole thing was, I mean, I'm going to pull it out of there. I tightened it down. Um, I think it was causing a couple of things. It was causing this to vibrate real bad. But you see how this catches when you go this way. I don't know if it's supposed to spin freely that way. And so I'm going to take that out of there. Um, and then those, those dogs there keep it from going this way. Ah, there you go. See that? centrifugal force pulls them back so so it does go one way and not the other those things all look good i don't see anything wrong with any of that stuff this was loose which would cause i don't know how much of it it would cause how much of a problem but um, okay so that all looks good so i went ahead and tighten that back up so it does spin, spins this way, not this way. Those dogs catch. That all looks okay to me. So put this back in. Clean this up a little. Okay. Test this with a load of clothes. Let's see if it, see if it works. I'll take that down. Might have more than one problem. Uh, huh? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's possible the bolt, the bolt is in this thing, about halfway down, it was loose, which would make it do this but I don't think it's enough to make this walk but if it doesn't do it anymore then that was what was wrong with it. Yeah, right but I mean so so that's no it not that bad. bad no that's not okay that bad. nope it's not done 
Okay, well, it's working. I don't know. If she said this thing makes a, sometimes gets really violent. That's those shock absorbers. I can replace those. There's a pressure switch in here that tells it when to stop filling it up with water. I can replace that. Um, we kind of just discovered the extra rinse. If you turn that on, it goes past here to here. If it's off, it stops right there at the blue. So like in this case, I'm on uh, permanent press. This thing should cycle all the way down to that blue strip and stop because I got that off. And uh, I mean, it's, you know, the pump works because it's, uh, you know, it's I'm going to let that do its thing. I'm going to start picking up my tools. Okay, well, it's doing its thing. I want to, I'd like to stay until it gets to here. Okay, this is, uh, this is it for today. Okay, we're, this is the continuation of, uh, Debbie's washing machine. I couldn't really get it to do, to fail before, but she said it's doing it every time now. It shakes real bad. So I'm just going to replace the, uh, I'm not sure if it's shock absorbers or, uh, I've seen some uh, videos where they're not, they're pads, they're not shock absorbers. But I'm going to pull this washing machine apart, figure out what causes it to not vibrate, and, uh, and I'm going to replace those parts. Okay, so, um, <laughs> got this thing apart. I thought it was going to have those, uh, those rods that come up here it doesn't it has springs see this bracket it has a spring here there's three of those brackets there's one over there there's no there's no spring on this bracket and it's completely this is where the spring goes um, it goes from let's see where does it go it goes over to here. The clip is missing. I got to get the clip, uh, the spring, and I got to buy this. I got to try to get this off. So that's what I'm going to do now. I think that's why it's spinning. It's only using two of the three springs, and that's why it's shaking. Okay, it's never easy. They had the little clip. Did not have this bracket. So... We gotta get it out of Seattle. She said she'll have it tomorrow. She'll call me when it comes in. I will drive back down here, pick it up, install everything, and see if it works. Okay, so I'm heading back to uh, fix this washing machine, and uh, I decided I'm just while I've got the whole thing apart. I'm gonna replace more than just the one missing spring and, and clamp that I ordered, or bracket, I ordered a bracket. Um, there's three of those springs. I'm gonna replace all three springs, even though two of them look okay. There's another spring in the back. I'm gonna replace that one. In a quarter mile, continue uh, straight to stay on East Celtus Way. I'm going Celtus to way. replace the, uh, what else am I gonna replace? The water pressure switch and the water inlet valve assembly. Um, not necessarily because they're bad. She, she told me one time it filled up. It just kept filling up and didn't turn off. That's the switch. And another time, to stay on East I, way, noticed, way. I noticed that uh, when I was there, the, the very first time I worked on it, I had the lid open. And while it was going through the um, spin cycle, water was coming in intermittently um i don't think the pressure switch would do that but the inlet valve would if if those valve if that inlet valve assembly was open or no closed letting water in when it wasn't supposed to be closed 
um, that would cause that. So I'm just gonna, I got it all apart. I'm just gonna change all those parts out. Okay, so I took this apart um, before I watched the video on how to take it apart. So uh, the way you normally do this, this doesn't have to come off like this. This could be still sitting on there, tipped up, um, and this uh, this would still be on the back of here, like this, and you just take that shell off. But I took everything apart, so I'm going to take advantage of that because the there's the uh, the blue thing, that's the water fill valve, and I'm going to take that off and replace it. This is the um, the switch that. Did, determines how much water goes in the tub and I'm thinking since she said that at, at one point once this was filling and wouldn't stop that switch tells that um, valve stop letting water in so it's one of the two I'm just going to replace them both the way you get this out there's a uh, there's a clip right here if you just push in like this, that loosens it. And then you turn it and then you lift it out. I'm gonna bring this with me and hope that they have one. And now I'm gonna take off the, uh, the water valve. Okay, I'm gonna replace this uh, this water inlet valve here. So pulled the hose off, pulled the connectors off. It's got uh, got two screws, I think. Nope, it's only got one right there. So let me pull this off. See that big spring down there? I'm gonna replace that one too. I'm replacing that one and see that there's three of these I'm replacing all three even though one was missing completely the bracket was rusted out that's where I'm going right now to uh, to get it you can see this is all rusted okay I'm going to buy these parts plus the the other springs and go pick up my uh, what do you call my bracket okay so step one I replaced that spring this bracket was rusty replaced the bracket and the spring and uh, place that spring so it's the three springs that control the shaking and then there's one in the back right there I replaced that one so that is all I know how to do in terms of the shaking part. Now we're gonna replace uh, the water valve and the, uh, the water uh, pressure switch. They didn't have a new one, sold me a used one. He said it came off of a machine that had a motor problem, so it should work, fingers crossed. Okay, so <laughs> let me ca uh, recap here. I put this uh, pressure switch. I put a new uh, water inlet valve. All the suspension. Um, and we're just testing it now. It's going through a, through a uh, wash cycle. So um, it filled with water. So that works. It filled to the right height. So that works, and uh, it's uh, not sure what it's doing, but it's doing something. I'm waiting for it to get to uh, the spin cycle. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the spin cycle, and Debbie was telling me it was banging really loud, and they would have to come and hold it down. So. At this point, uh, that looks pretty normal. It's about how it's supposed to be. That won't shake the hose 
loose fluid? No, no. So I have a question for you. Yeah. Someone told me when it, this is shaking like that, don't use the dryer because the element, it will burn it out from shaking, it will not lose. I never heard that, but I'm not a professional, oh. so who told you that? People that had washing machines that shook in a mess, so I just wanted to ask you because I have no idea. They said, don't run the dryer at the same time? When the, when the machine shakes a lot because the dryer... Oh, well, the way yours was shaking, yeah, it could have, you know, because oh. it could shake your dryer. Oh. I, w I would say that could do something. Okay. You know, I mean, they're not designed to shake. I know. <laughs> I mean, there's a little. This okay, that's as bad as it's shaking, so it's awesome. I, I'm going to say that we fixed the shake. And, uh... High five. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's it's done. So I'm gonna let it finish its cycle and then I'm gonna push this back in place and we'll be done. Okay, wrapping this one up. Uh, I I ended up replacing I you know I, I didn't video a lot of this because it was just a lot of tedious work. And and the thing is this this washing machine was so old uh, the guy who he fixes them up and sells them he had uh he had to put screws in it to like hold the frame together it was just rusted out it, it's old but um it was a lot of tedious work but i ended up um replacing all the springs underneath and that fixed her problem because she said it was like they'd have to come and grab the machine and hold it while it spun and you saw the little bit of video there that's you know that's pretty normal so we fixed it uh, and uh, let's see we fixed it and we and then I changed out the water inlet valve and I changed out the water pressure switch just because she said she's had issues where uh, it filled with water when I guess it wasn't supposed to. I, I don't know. I just figured I'd do it. I had the whole thing apart. So that's the end of this one. Uh, everything seems to be working. And I'll talk to you at the next one.